In the previous video, we have looked at evaluation metrics related to retrieval augmented generation. We will quickly summarize what we saw uh, before uh, computing those uh, evaluation metrics. Okay. So in RAG, we have a retriever which retrieve the relevant documents from our all data. Okay. So here we have all the data, the retriever, it retrieve the documents relevant to the question. Okay. This is what we call the context. And then we have a generator LLM which take the context and the question to produce an answer. So we want to evaluate how good the retriever as well as the generator are performing. Okay. So retriever, uh, it is using the question and extracting the context. Correct. So we have four variables, right? The question, the retrieved context and the final answer and uh, the ground truth, which we may not have uh, always. So the retriever, it is retrieving this context. Okay. We have two metrics called context precision and context recall. So the context precision, it measure how relevant the retrieved context is to the given question. Okay. So it takes the question as well as the retrieved context as input and it measure how good this retrieved context is to the question and then the context recall. So it measures the retriever ability to retrieve all the context so that the question can be answered adequately. Okay. So it takes the ground truth so that it know what the actual answer is and then it will verify if the actual answer can be inferred from the retrieved context. Okay. So we use these two metrics to evaluate the performance of the retriever and then the generator. So the generator is producing the final answer, right? So the both the metrics will have the final answer as one of uh, the two variables. So the faithfulness is how factually correct the generated answer is right so what we do is we take the retrieved context and we take the answer and we make sure that the answer generated is actually uh, coming from the retrieved context the way we do is we take uh, we take the answer from that we generate a bunch of statements and we see if those statements can be factually inferred from the retrieved context okay and finally, the answer relevancy, uh, it is simply uh, a measure of how relevant uh, the uh, final answer is uh, to the question. So it takes both the question and answer as inputs. And we have a fifth metric, which is called this aspect critic. It takes only the answer as input and it measure things like harm, harmfulness, the maliciousness, uh, etc. And uh, it output a, a Boolean value. Okay, so we will see how to uh, compute these metrics. So we have a library called Ragas. Uh, you can install using pip. And to evaluate all these matrices, uh, we need another LLM. It can be any LLM which 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 we are using for uh, as retriever or generator, or it can be a third different uh, LLM. Okay. So in this case, I'm using uh, Open AI LLM. Uh, so. I have already set my API key in my environmental variables, but if you don't have, uh, you can set it uh, uh, this way. All right. So we need some data, right? We need, we need, uh, as we discussed here. So we need a bunch of questions. We need uh, the context uh, relevant to each question. We need to know the final answer and also what is the actual answer so that we can compute these five matrices. So what we do is from hugging face uh, data set, uh, we have this FICA data set, which is this financial opinion uh, mining and question answering data set. Okay, so simply load the data set. Uh, it looks like this, right? So the data set has this baseline uh, with 30 records and each record contains the question, uh, the context, which is retrieved by the retriever, 
the answer produced by the generator and this is the ground truth so this is manually annotated ground truth okay so here oh sorry so first we can convert this uh, data set which is the hugging face format to a pandas data frame and then uh, if we look at the top five rows this is how the data look like right so here we have a question for example how to deposit a check issued to an associate in my business into my business account so here we have a question and then the actual answer which is manually annotated this is not produced by an llm and here uh, we have the context retrieved by the retriever and finally the answer produced by the uh, uh, generator okay that's the first record and then we have the second record uh, so and so forth so if you look at uh, one of the record this is how it is so here we have the question that's our question and then we have our ground truth okay and then we have the answer generated by the llm and finally we have the context which is this long context okay all right so let's see how we can measure uh, those uh, five matrices uh, it's very simple just a couple of lines of code so from ragas uh, import the matrices right so answer relevancy faithfulness these two are relevant to the generator and the context recall and precision are related to retriever and also uh, we want to measure these uh, uh, these critic uh, matrices right like harmfulness uh, 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 what else we have a couple of others like uh, maliciousness uh, is the answer uh, coherent uh, etc right let's say we are checking if the provided answer has any harmful content okay so simply have those five matrices uh, imported and then so import the evaluate evaluate uh, module so to the evaluate we simply provide the data set which contain those 30 records and then uh, the bunch of metrics uh, we want to compute so these are the five matrices right uh, so the result variable after running so we are using uh, gpt 3.5 uh, to evaluate these matrices right so it's unlike a numerical or tabular data or computer vision task etc where we have a numeric value as the ground truth and numeric value as the prediction where we can compare uh, them directly with each other here the answer is a bunch of text a piece of text uh, the ground truth is a piece of text right so we are comparing these two are measuring how well they align with each other using another llm model it's an interesting idea right so the result it compute all these matrices and uh, uh, they are shown here so all these matrices they takes the value between a 0 to 1 except uh, the final one which is a boolean which is either a 0 or 1 but the remaining matrices uh, they will be between 0 to 1 okay so for example uh, for these 30 records uh, the overall context precision is 0 0.6 uh, so and so forth now it will also compute addition another default uh, metric called this raga score uh, i think this is some geometric mean of these four uh, variables okay the context precision faithfulness uh, uh, the answer relevancy and the recall all right now we can look at these four matrices uh, including uh, the harmfulness uh, for each record right so for example transform this uh, results into a pandas data frame and if you look at so this is what we have so here we have the question context answer and ground truth this is coming from uh, our data set uh, from hugging face and here are the five metrics uh, we have computed so as you can see harmfulness it's a binary uh, in all these answers uh, nothing uh, it's not harmful so this uh, it's not so the score is zero uh, here you can see uh, uh, different metrics uh, a score between zero to one now uh, let's look at one of these uh, record uh, for which uh, here we have the context recall is a zero which means we won't be able to answer the given question adequately 
using the extracted context right it is like recall in a classification are we able to uh, uh, recall or correctly predict uh, those important uh, cases right so in that sense uh, from the given context are we able to answer the question adequately or not so if you look at this third one now again there is a lot of text i won't go through the text here but the question here is applying for and receiving business credit that's the question and here we have uh, the actual answer this is the actual answer oh it's quite lengthy answer and then here we have the llm answer and here we finally have the context so what it is saying is the score is uh, zero which means using this given context we won't be able to adequately extract this ground truth okay remember uh, the recall it compared the ground truth against the extracted uh, context okay let me go here so the recall so it is measuring the ability of the retriever to retrieve all the necessary information to answer the question right so here we take the retrieved context and we'll check from that retrieved context if we are able to extract the ground truth meaning if this context has all the information which is in this ground truth the fact that for those records we don't have we have very low score mean meaning uh where are we yep yeah. so that means this ground truth we won't be able to uh extract it using the extracted uh context uh it's a bit strange i mean this uh ground truth uh, is very very lengthy because we've set some output token limit on the answers uh, our answers won't be as long as uh, this ground truth so we have to be very careful uh, when comparing the performance of the llm models to make sure uh, the ground truth uh, uh, token limit or the token length is uh, in the similar range of the extracted uh, answers so that we can do a better uh, comparison uh, all right uh, that's it for this video thank you very much